I found this motor on uh, Facebook Marketplace, like two towns over from me. It's a 403 Olds and a 403, I'm not an Oldsmobile guy. That's basically a 350 with the cylinder bores pushed out as far as they'll go and they Siamese them. Uh, they made it from 77 to 79. They put them in Electras and 98s and Tornados and uh, Trans Ams, believe it or not. And uh, I've always liked them. I like Oldsmobile engines. I'm really good with them. I have tons of parts for them. So this thing was 350 bucks in Revere, which, you know, if you don't live around here, that's like two cities over from me. But uh, so this kid bought it because he wanted to buy a Trans Am and he wanted to have a motor for it and he never did anything with it. So I'm putting a cam in it. I have a small, again, parts I have in stock. This is a W34 cam, which is from a 70 Tornado GT. But it's, you know, Oldsmobile love to play with names and numbers. It's the same cam any 7442 automatic would have. A 69 Hurst Soldier is the same cam. It's nothing radical. It's, it's small. It should idle good. Make tons of power, I hope. Um, so I'm sticking that in because I had it. I'm just setting the uh, cam time here now, degreeing it in. It had, well, fairly new pistons in it. I do see a little bit of carbon here and there. So they were run somewhere, um, which is funny because the crank is standard. It's got brand new bearings. They have not been run. So I don't know what's going on there. Almost like this guy had used brand new pistons or fairly new pistons he stuck on this motor. Whatever the case, I don't care. But uh, the clearances are great. So again, 350 bucks. I got the block, you know, the short block and the heads and the intake. So I'm throwing this thing together, which again, I have tons of parts for Oldsmobile engines. So it made sense for me to screw with it. So I'll finish the cam timing, clean up the heads, clean up the decks, slap it together, get it running on my engine stand here, and I'll put that in the Firebird. I'm doing this when I'm not doing this. I'm going back and forth, basically. So I just spent an hour on the Camaro. Now I'm going to go on the 403. So that's what's going on here in uh, my fun house. Uh, just keep plugging away, you, you get there eventually, right? Hey guys, today I have a 403 Oldsmobile engine that I've been rebuilding for the Firebird. Firebird has the Pontiac six cylinder in it right now, but my friend Dave wants to buy it. And uh, I think I'm ready for a V8 in the car again anyway. No slight to you six cylinder folks out there, but it was nice and quiet and smooth, but I need a little more oomph. And uh, I didn't want to put the 455 back in it that's right there because another friend of mine is interested in buying the Firebird, so I didn't want to put an engine in it that I might need someday. So I picked up this 403 really cheap locally, and it, it already had new bearings in it, so I just put rings in it, ball honed it. I uh, went through the heads, made sure they were all good, and uh, you know, new water pump. I had a carburetor off the 455. I just got it running for a second, just to make sure that, you know, I had the distributor dialed in right, and uh, it has less than, 30 seconds running time on it, so give me a minute and I'll get it running. All right, here we go again. I need to adjust the timing, and that might be a little tricky one-handed, but uh, bear with me. for about three years. Let's give it a minute to warm up a little and we'll screw around a little bit.
bit weird. I don't know about that, but maybe it's the gauge. It's possible between 70 and 80. 68 and 80. Vacuum is around 15 inches, which is good. Oh, boy. Got it about 15 degrees initial timing. Well, maybe not. I think it's around 10, actually. A smidge higher. Keep an eye on the coolant temp. It's way high now, wherever that thing is. All the way at the end. We'll leave it there for the moment. Pretty solid 15 inches of vacuum, and that's, you know, well, I'll touch my carburetor. I get a screwdriver in there, I can play with it a little. Hope this video wasn't terrible quality, if it is, I apologize, but I'm trying to wrestle alligator one-handed, if you know what I mean. Oh boy, didn't like that. Don't like that at all. Alright, well that's... Let's not get crazy, those guys. That's 80, 70, 80 pounds, that's a lot of oil pressure, holy shit. What the that? I don't know what the hell that was. Let me check my coolant level. I guess that's full. Full enough. I mean, it's running cool enough. It's not running hot or anything. 180 something. I'm gonna shut it off shortly. I mean, it's reasonably, you know, smooth. Probably at about 600 RPM, 650 maybe. That's low. A little bit warm. Not crazy warm, but I'm gonna call it a day shortly. Not terrible. I mean, it's got a little lope to it, but it's not bad. That's kind of what I wanted, a little tiny lope. Alright, so we're at the second notch in the timing point or whatever that thing is, which is probably too high. Looks like it's 20, which is that investigates is too high. Get a flashlight, see what it is. That is 20. So I gotta drop it down a little bit. Alright, little biggie. Drop it down a smidge. I wanna say 20 is probably stock for 403, isn't it? I can't remember, it's been a while. Now down to 18. Let's go to 16. Call that good. It smells weird. Probably this silicone on the headers there. Uh, I'll explain that in a minute. Alright, this 16. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut it down there. It's getting a little warm. Go fire it one more time just to, you know, peace of mind, but let's do it one more time. What the hell? I took a couple of videos. I'll try to splice them in here as best I can. I wasn't thrilled with the quality of the videos. That's why I am doing it again. Plus, I never really detailed what's in this thing. So as I said, it's just a stock 403. I can't tell what year it is because the, uh, the pad down here with VIN is, it's so corroded, you can't read it. All you can see is three and Y. Y, I believe, is the plant. Three is Oldsmobile. I don't know what year it is. Usually, I don't know if you know Oldsmobile's at all, but on that... That plateau there, they stamp in three for Oldsmobile Division. The next digit is the year. They only made 403s, 77, 78, and 79. So it's one of those three. It's just a basic 403. Someone bought it 30 over. It's got silver light cast pistons in it. Uh, standard deck. 
stock heads. I did some work in the bowls just to get rid of the sharp edges, that kind of stuff. The W34 cam. It's got these Sanderson headers I've had sitting on my shelf for years. I bought them off a friend of mine who had them in an 85442 and he loved them. I got them pretty cheap, a couple hundred bucks. And Sanderson's are cool because the flanges are like 3 8 or I forget what they're, 9 16 They're super thick. So you don't have to run gaskets. You just RTV them with high heat RTV and you put them on, which is pretty wild. I don't like this. Like to me, they kind of blew it where they use a flat flange gasket here. They should have done the ball and socket. That, and they should have made it about two inches longer to clear the starter, but whatever. So uh, these are the pipes off that 442. I got them with the headers. I just stuck them on and stuck my test mufflers on. And like I said, I had it running the other day. Uh, HEI, just a stock HEI I had on my shelf. I think it's a 75. This is the one I had on my HEI video on the Sun Machine. I just put a new uh, pickup coil in it. Check the curve, it's stock curve. I didn't change it because it, it gives you like 16 degrees of mechanical advance. And this thing's only eight to one. So I'm probably gonna run between 16 and 20 degrees of initial. So I don't need a ton of centrifugal coming in. You wanna have 34 to 36. So if you have 20 initial, say, you only want about 14, 15 centrifugal. So we're real close to that. So I can run 18 probably initial and leave that alone and have like 34, 35 degrees of total timing. Uh, what else is in this thing? For whatever reason, I could not use the stock push rods. They were too short. So I, I went with a uh, Comp Cams adjustable rocker kit. And I had it on my shelf. Again, I'm trying to get rid of some parts. That's one of the reasons I built an Olds engine. I have tons of Olds to build parts. You know, these headers, that camshaft, the lifters, the rockers, the uh, push rods. I had a set of 8-inch 400 hardened push rods, oil-restricted push rods. They fit perfect. So I stuck them in. Uh, the intake is an A4 intake off of, uh, I think, 80 or 81 and up, 307. Uh, in 87, whatever they went to the roller cam, 86 and a half, 87, they changed the intake ports to like one inch by one inch, whereas the A4 has the old school, you know, 350 size intake ports. They're like two inch tall, one and a half inch wide. So the A4 intake supposedly flows as well as a performer. You know, again, I put this on my Firebird. I wanted a low buck engine because if I sell the car with this engine in it, I don't want to put something in it that I really want to keep, but I don't want a total pig either. I didn't want to use the stock intake because they're heavy as hell. I don't like cast iron intakes as a rule. So aluminum intake. Uh, I'll show you something about these intakes. I don't know if you guys know this. But if you look under the carburetor of the A4 intake or any of those 80s intakes, this is what you're going to see in the primary bores. Look at those things, huh? Talk about restricting the flow. I mean, they come right up to like the base of the carburetor. These are for EGR. Holy shit. Talk about restricting flow. So you take those tubes out and plug them with uh, uh, pipe plugs and you pick up a shitload of flow. So what else can I tell you about this thing? It's got a nine position cloys timing chain because all the aftermarket ones suck and you can't get them to degree in right. I have this cam in straight up. You know, again, nothing special, nothing hocus pocus. It's just, you know, it's a stock oil pump I had on the shelf. It's a Toro pan I've been sitting on for years. Uh, everybody bitches about the Toro pan because the Toro has a lump right there where the axle easily goes. You can see mine's been cut out and welded in. So that takes care of the Tornado shortcoming everybody bitches about. Uh, what else? I gotta make this bracket. These brackets are from a 307, alternator and power steering. They fit a 455, but since a 455 is like a one inch taller deck, I had to manipulate them a little bit. I had to make this bracket that bolted on here and went to the head stud over here. Uh, it wouldn't work on the 403. And this part right here, if you follow this main part of the body, I welded this piece here for the 455 to bolt to the block. Well, as you can see, there is no effort to bolt on a 403. <laughs> There's no bolt hole there. I think on the 455, it goes here on the front of this pad. There's no hole there. So I made this bracket quick, quick the other day, just a 90 degree bracket goes to this head stud and I grabbed it in two planes. So that'll take care of that. No movement there. And since my fiber, it has hydro boost. This pump is the old one of my 455. It's got the double nipples here for a uh, hydro boost. It's got the return line and the hydro boost return line belt's too long because it's for a big block it's all the way maxed out so i need like an inch shorter belt so that's the story of this thing uh i had it running the other day with a demon carburetor it was this one right here i had it on my 455 um it's a 750 street demon good carburetor it's basically a glorified edelbrock carburetor you know it's like the, like a thermal quad kind of but a friend of mine sold me this holly brawler it's a 600 double pumper he said it ran perfect. He had it on a 330. He thought it was too much carburetor, and I'm using the air quotes. So I'm going to try it on this thing today, see if I like the way it runs. I don't usually run Holly carburetors, but um, with this is a slightly bigger can than stock, 
and they benefit from it. Uh, when I had it run the other day, the oil pressure was fluctuating from like 60 to 80, which is pretty funny. Uh, let's see if it stabilizes today. I also have 15 inches of vacuum. So let's see how it works with this carburetor. So let me shut the camera off, open my door, put my exhaust on, and fire this guy up. All right, here we go. ran better with the demon carburetor. I mean, it doesn't idle terrible. It's just vacuum is way lower. I get the timing at 18 initial. At least I did it a minute ago. It's actually 16. That's 22, 20, 18. Yeah, it's a teeny bit off. More like 16, but I can bump it back up. I just realized that I have my cooling fan on. Oops. Let me just run it out of gas so I can change carburetors. My power steering pump is starting to squeak a little because it's dry. I put some fluid in it and put the hoses on it. I don't think it likes being run a little dry. Oops. It's not running super hot. Oh, there it goes. Try it again. I think we're out of gas. Yay. All right, last thing we're doing is trying to quad jet. It's a, it's a 704 1250, so it's a 1971, uh, I think it's a 350, it's a 125, oh, it's 1251 actually. I'll have to look it up and see what that is. But it's for an Oldsmobile, you can tell by the throttle arm. Uh, all right, let's see what we got. Cross your fingers. Ooh. Choppy, choppy. Think of fuel too. Whoops, let me shut it off. Like that. All right, let's try it again. Yeah, it's a little choppy. Not liking it too much. I'm gonna get today, I think. 
I think what I will do is uh, put the demon back on it. You seem to like that one. Or I'll take a quadrajet of pipe and modify it. Because it's obvious to me, a, a bone stock Q-jet ain't gonna do it, so. Oh, wonderful, it's like pissing out fucking fluid everywhere. Let me shut this thing off. Well, there you have it. You got to see it run. I swapped carburetors, made some adjustments, puke power steering fluid all over the floor, and uh, I made a mess in my shop. God damn it. Now well, these things happen, you know? So, thanks for joining me today, and I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, your stay in my fun house, and hope your projects are going better than mine. Talk to you later. All right, guys, one more video. I uh, tried a bunch of quadra jets. I tried that brawler carburetor. And I went back to the Demon. This idles the best. It just idles way better than the other three carburetors I tried. Watch. I mean, it's not glass smooth, but man, it's damn close. You know, it's definitely got a cam and you can hear it. I mean, you can hear the camshaft in it. It's not a huge cam, it's just, for this engine, it's evidently enough. So I'm gonna leave it like this. I mean, the next step is to pull the cam out of it, which I'm not gonna do. I, I don't think it's worth it. It's it's not that rough. Maybe to put it in drive, I'll hate it, but we'll see. Oil pressure is coming down. Now that's getting really hot, which is fine. I mean, it's gonna level out eventually. But uh, it's idling probably around 700 RPM, I'd say 750 tops. It's got 15. 15 is his first line to the left. So it's going to be 15 to 16 inches of vacuum at idle, which isn't tremendous, but, you know, again, it's going to cam it, so it's livable. My car has hydro boost, so I'm, I don't need vacuum for power brakes. It just has idling gear, and I can actually idle it up a little bit if I want to, you know. Idle up a stitch. And that's fantastic. I don't want to idle that high, but you get the idea. I can play with it. I don't think I want to change the camshaft in it. It's not that big. So I'm going to call it a day and uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed your journey through 403 land, but I'm going to call this one done. There's one more thing I want to try though, so stand by. What I just tried was plugging in the vacuum advance at idle. I just took the vacuum hose there from the vacuum gauge, suck it on, but it didn't like it. It, uh, I can idle it way down and it's just as smooth, but there's really no benefit to it. It's got about 20 degrees of timing like that, which I don't like, I don't want to run it that high, so let's just leave it here and call it done. So there we go. Hope your projects are going better than mine. Talk to you later.